Hello, my name is Vanessa. Welcome to another episode of Fun Learning Math with me. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, another situation whereby you have both scenarios of shortages. Right? Let's take a look. Madam Tan wanted to give some stickers to every pupil in her class. If she were to give 10 stickers to each pupil, she would be short of 35 stickers. If she were to give 13 stickers to each pupil, she would be short of 11, oh, 119 stickers. So how many stickers did Madam Tan have? So the same thing, what is always the same is the actual original number of stickers that Madam Tan had. So making reference with regards to that, this is how you want to draw the model. And with regards to scenario one, if she were to give 10 stickers to each pupil, she would be short of 35 stickers. So she needed an extra 35 stickers in order to give each pupil 10 stickers. The same thing for scenario two. If she were to give 13 stickers to each pupil, she would be short of 119 stickers. So Madam Tan needed an extra 119 stickers. So draw a longer model so that each pupil had 13. So the same thing, since we do not know what is the actual or the total number of stickers used in the two scenarios, we have to see that this um, scenario 2 and scenario 1 are interrelated. So scenario 2 is a continuation of scenario 1. So that now in scenario 1, each pupil already had 10. So in order to move on to scenario 2, each pupil will need an additional 3, right? So what is the additional number of stickers, total number of stickers that Manhattan need so that the pupil would have 13 stickers instead of 10. So from the model, we can work out easily because we have written on the information. The difference is actually this yellow portion, which is 119 stickers take away 35, right? So this is the difference. So let's put everything in number sentence. So the first one is 119 take away 35, we have the 84. So 84, is the total number of um, so-called extra stickers that Manhattan needed so that each pupil will get 13 stickers instead of 10 stickers. And then what is the increment for each individual pupil? That is 13 minus 10, which is 3. All right. With that, you know each pupil she gives 3 more. And in total, she had 84. So the number of students can be worked out easily by taking 84 divided by 3, so which is 28 students. So using either scenario, you can work out the number of stickers Madam Tan have. So using scenario 1, so if she would give 10 stickers, so you just multiply by 10, all right, which is 280. But remember, she did not have that many stickers, so you have to take away 35. Okay, so with that, your answer is 245, but please check your answer with scenario 2 because in scenario 2, you should get the same answer, 245, and that's just a very simple uh, question. You are guaranteed the full marks. Okay, so let's check using scenario 2. Again, scenario 2, you have to take away 119. So the same answer, 245, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, at the end of the day, you know how to manage this kind of questions. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you uh, how questions can be made a bit trickier with the introductions of like, let's say, a percentage and do a bit of like a twist to this, this question. But the idea is the same. So keep a lookout for the next video. And if you like this, please give me a like or if not, give me a dislike so that at least I know, yeah, this is not nice. This is not good and uh, how I can actually further improve it. And subscribe to my channel if you find it beneficial. And at the end of the day, if you are a student, I hope you love math. And if you are a parent, I hope that um, you can use this video to teach your, your child, your children.
Okay, that's it. Have a nice day and see you again. Bye.